Increased safety is a side effect. Increased efficiency is a side effect. Increased communication is a side effect. All of these things are side effects of human and organizational performance. Safety being one of them, which is why I'm talking to you today. So the first one, people make mistakes. Every single one of us, every single day, will make a mistake, regardless. It's a spelling mistake on your email. You pull into the wrong lane. You didn't indicate at a certain time. You make mistakes. Our internal bias might look at our operators, our employees, and go, they're not allowed to make mistakes because they say so in the procedure. HOP recognizes that everybody makes mistakes. The systems have to be built in order to cater for those. It should not be a surprise when your people make mistakes. Blame fixes nothing. Blame is emotionally important for the manager, for the directors, for whoever it is that are looking after the people. It's emotionally important. It gives you a vent. But it's not operationally relevant. It turns mistakes into retrospective actions. So the mistake you made by blaming you, I automatically assume that you did that on purpose. There's no good intent there. Context and systems drive behavior. You walk into a supermarket and you want a, you want a, a liter of milk. You're gonna to have to walk to the furthest point in the supermarket and you're gonna to have to walk past a thousand adverts, and you're going to have a certain type of music playing to you, a certain type of lighting, a certain type of design in the store. All of that is set out because people know that the context, the environment that you're in, drives your behavior. And more likely than not, you will buy several things on your way to pick up that milk. Your environment drives your behavior. The context you're in drives your behavior. The systems you use every single day drive your behavior. Telling people to care more and have less accidents does not work. The automotive industry knows this. That's why they put seat belts in cars. Telling people not to crash cars, if that worked, they wouldn't have to put seat belts in airbags. People just wouldn't crash. But we all make mistakes. Learning is vital. The environments we all work in nowadays, regardless of how simple you think it might be, is mag it's of magnitudes high, more complex than what it used to be. Getting to work, crossing the car park, getting into your office, if you're office bound, dealing with, dealing with everything that environments like this have to offer. And that's if you're working in the office, if you're working outdoors, if you're working on you know, tools. The, the complexity that people have to deal with is far greater than it's ever been. You are not going to succeed in those environments unless you learn from the experts who are doing the job. The experts who are doing the job are the people at the front line. You have to set up systems in order to be able to learn from them. Sitting in an office, you do not know the best way to be able to do those jobs. The, your experts are your people in the field. They may not be the experts in the world, but they're the only experts that you've got. So you better get the knowledge out of them, because unless you get the knowledge out of them, you're going to languish. You're, you're not going to be peak performance. Response matters. Something happens, you go home to your partner. You spend more money from your joint account than what you expected to spend. You need to tell them because you need to manage the outcome from that. You tell them and they berate you. They shout at you, they scream at you, they yell at you. How likely are you next time to tell them a similar mistake? Are you gonna try and cover it up? This is one of the biggest killers of communication and learning in any organization that I've been involved with or that I work with nowadays. How the managers, how the leaders respond to mistakes. How they respond to errors, how they respond to bad news. The leaders are where it all starts. And if they respond to mistakes, errors and bad news, with a learning mindset, okay. If they, if they respond instead of reacting, if they take the emotion out of it and go, okay, well this has already happened. We've already paid the price for this. What can we learn from that? Because if we're not learning, the system doesn't change. And if the system doesn't change, it's exactly the same system that somebody else is going to make the same error in again. So learning is paramount. Response matters. And as you see, in none of that is there any mention of the word safety. 